proposing waiving of those intellectual property rights. But even here in the United States, like that's not a mo we're not a monolith, right? You have many advocates here who are actually pushing as you know activists in the United States for those intellectual property rights to be waived, just so that more countries all across the world can get the vaccine as quickly as possible. Alexis Patrick, thank you very much indeed for that great look to see somebody from the African continent taking up that particular job. Let's get the latest news headlines now, Eileen. The internet has again been switched off in Myanmar as the standoff continues between demonstrators and the new military authorities. The UN has warned of unimaginable humanitarian consequences with the latest escalation of fighting in Yemen. A missile attack on a US military base in Kurdish northern Iraq has killed a foreign contractor and wounded an American soldier. And Johnny Pacheco, regarded as one of the founders of Salsa, has died at the age of 95. Let's move on to our next story now, because the global economic cost of the coronavirus pandemic will run into trillions of dollars. So could the world set up a better early warning system to reduce the financial impact of any future pandemics? Well, Dr. Michael Mina, an epidemiologist based at Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, is trying to do just that. And he's been telling me how it'll work. And look for all of the antibodies, the immunological memories that exist inside of each of these samples. And we can start building up the data, which is what we're doing now, to essentially monitor this particular pandemic in real time across the United States. Okay, let, let's put this very simply then. Let's take the case of the United States, which has had a, a very difficult time, as many countries have had with the pandemic. If your system would have been in place before, would it have predicted? the pandemic? And would it have told you exactly what was causing the pandemic? It would have given us an early warning that the virus was already circulating in the United States, maybe in January or February. We don't know exactly when it entered into the, into sort of New York City, for example. And for example, that could have given the governor of New York the firepower to be able to shut down the city early because he would recognize that the pandemic virus was already in New York. We're talking trillions and trillions of dollars that could have been saved on the back of a hundred million dollar investment. Okay, so how do we build that global system now? What needs to be done to do that? And who's gonna pay for it? First, we have to build the very basic tools which we are doing. But
this. 